Charles, first of all, how are you looking on the injury front? Um, I don't think we're too bad. I think we've come through the game um, OK. Um, so no problems from that point of view. We should have a pretty much fully fit squad for the game at the weekend. Gavin Gunning, you were going to have a look at his sending off? What yeah, did you, what did you we, conclude? We, we had a look at that and um, I asked Ian the secretary to, to have a close look at it as well. Um, we think we think he's very harsh because um, Wright has come from the behind him on it but the referee's position and where it was filmed um, he's, he's the opposite side with only three yards away so we would have a lot of difficulty overturning that um, so we probably won't because we feel that you know they probably um, got enough evidence to suggest that um, we'll be getting a suspension so um, we'll move on and he'll serve a three-match suspension is that correct yeah he will unfortunately for for him um, but you know it is what it is it's towards the end of the season now clearly if we were in a um, situation where we needed bodies then then we will probably have a we will probably have a, a, a little, little go at it but um you know it, it's all about the risk isn't it it's all about the risk and we think it's fairly fairly high risk to to go in at this moment in time with his contract up at the end of the season how unhelpful is that to you though on that, on that front um well, well not not perfect not perfect but he has played in a couple of the games so far um and and, and done reasonably well and enough for you to make a judgment on whether it's worth a new deal or not yeah well it will it will be with with the amount of training that we do as well between now and the end of the, of the season so um, and, and we'll probably organize within within that framework we'll probably organize another game as well okay Yeovil uh, in this match what are the prospects of you backing up your, your last home win with another one in this one well that's that, that, that's that, that's what we intend to do um, is, is, is win obviously we were disappointed with the first half at uh, Cheltenham the second half was much more encouraging again um, but w w what we need to be looking at is that 15 minutes um, after half time against Cambridge where you know we, we were very very good um, and if the players are in any doubt as what I'm after, it will be that kind of period of play with that intensity, with that progressive football, creating chances, getting balls into the box, creating opportunities for each other. That sort of spell is what we'll be looking for on a more consistent basis. And your old club, what was your time like there? Yeah, well, obviously got them to um, a playoff final. Um, against Blackpool but and, and the two in charge have played for me and Darren Way and uh, Terry Skiverton so um, and, and they're good guys and their team will be working very very hard they got a great result against crew at home 3-0 it's probably you know that result has, has, has just got them out of any any difficulty down the bottom of the table so probably they'll come I don't know maybe a little bit more relaxed um, which makes it difficult to assess in many ways but uh, look what what they will be is hard working and difficult to beat and very strong from set plays because I think they scored three from set plays against um, Crew at the weekend. And with no Gavin Gunning, who comes into your thoughts for a start? Well, the good thing about that is I've got nine midfielders, eight or nine midfielders, so I've got I've got um, I've got a few choices. So. Um, not too concerned about that. Although uh, Gavin does a certain job, you know, he protects the he, he protects the two centre halves at the back, um, so and he can break play up. But um, whoever comes in, it's an opportunity. I think that's why we need to see it. Yeah. Just finally, what's the atmosphere about the club at the moment? Yeah, good, good. Yeah, yeah. People can see that, the, 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 that there's been a change. Um, we've tweaked one or two things, and and obviously going forward, the, the, there'll be more and more strategy and 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 structure going forward um, and look looking forward to the next three games for sure um, because it will give me a chance to assess everybody um, but also l l looking forward also to, to, to building something here ready to go for next season mm. so there's the short term and then there's the obviously medium to long term in terms of assessing players how, how much of a picture have you managed to build up of, of the players you've got now um, yes yeah, so, so some I haven't seen an, an, an awful lot lot of because the, the, they they did have injuries so I've not seen too much of them on the uh, on the training uh, on the training ground others I've, I've seen a fair fair amount of and 
you know, on a, on a scale you're impressed with some and, and, um, and, and sometimes you're a little bit disappointed when you see things like the first half at, at Cheltenham. Um, but look, it's that consistency that we're looking for as well not, ju not just that ability but consistency because the one thing the one thing about the, the football league the english football league is it's relentless it's ruthless it's relentless um, and and you need a certain type as well a player that, that can play those 50 odd games a season at a level and that's why I talk about that consistency it's absolutely massive to be playing at that a level and, and, and knocking out performances of a high standard week in and week out strangely can you en can you learn a little bit more about your players in a defeat yes no no it's a, it's a good question um, Dale you can yeah <coughs> for sure um, the thing is, is you need to. I want to see, and, and, and Paul and I want to see the, the 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 true picture, the real picture. We don't want to take shortcuts. We don't want to mask over things um, and paint paper over the cracks. We don't want to do that. We want to see everything in its entirety, really. And and um, probably probably we got a little flavour of that in the last game, but we we don't want that first half again. That's that's for sure. Um, what did you learn about your players from that game, then? Well, all, all, all sorts, of, all, all sorts of things. Our, our decision making on a difficult surface at times, and they had the license, obviously, to be able to mix the play up. Whether that's so, then it becomes decisions whether to play long, whether to play short. Um, are, are, are really key and I don't think we made fantastic decisions individually and collectively in that first period. And what do you know about Yeovil? Um, I know they're a big strong side, um, they've got experience, um, they've got Zoko up front haven't they? Um, he's he, He's been around the, the lower uh, levels and, and, and scored goals previously um, and we know they're a threat from a set play so um, you know to score three in one game is is a, is a big call so we'll have to be very mindful of uh, what they set from those situations just wanted to ask obviously in the press conference last week you said you, you had no doubt that this club could was big enough to yes. play at the next level and I know it's only been a week here now but is that kind of still in your mind that and what from what you yeah, see so yeah far? yeah no that, that will always be in my mind that that won't change um, whether we win or lose, that, w that will always be um, my, my opinion. It was my opinion 11 years ago, and and probably that opinion's e even stronger now because we've got a stronger nucleus of, of, of players. We in, in 11 years ago, it was a, it was, a, it was a small squad, but talented squad, um, and and. and and there lies the thing. It's it's not always about the numbers. It's um, it's about the quality as well. And we will be looking to add a little bit of quality between now and next season. So, looking ahead to the summer, do you see it as maybe not as big a job as you might have first thought? Oh no, it's going to be a big job. There's no there's no there's no, there's no shortcuts. There's no easy jobs in football. But um, it, it it's uh, it's going to be a project in, in, in terms of we're going to have to get stuck in and we'll be weak and dealing in that in, in that transfer market like anybody else and you know how important your recruiting is mm. in the summer um, it'd be no different for us it'll be a very very important period for us and with that being such a big job have you already kind of put feelers out at all for looking at new players or yeah of course yeah, yeah.